Hey everyone, so I made this video because I'm gonna forget how I fix my lights for next year. So partly for me and uh, hopefully it's helpful to you. But I wanted to give my endorsement on a product that I bought uh, called an LED Keeper. Um, and uh, it's basically designed to fix LED string lights. In my particular case, I've got uh, about 25, 30 strands connected various places uh, of, of icicle lights that are connected outside and run along my roof line. And so they're exposed to the elements. After the first couple of years of using them, I started realizing I have whole strands going out and they really weren't lasting. And so I've kind of been dealing with that and buying more and to a point where, um, you know, I've got so many of them failing that I need to, I need to either replace them all, which is a pretty, pretty sizable investment when you're talking about that many strands of lights or figure out how to start fixing them. And so I've been using the, uh, sort of the red version of, of this that they make, uh, that's used for incandescent bulbs, but this is called the LED keeper and it uh, is yellow as you can see and it's a little bit different because leds work different so i got let me show you what i did and how i've been troubleshooting these lights so take a strand of these led uh, icicle lights and first step is to plug them into a plug so you can see if they light up and you wouldn't be here if this worked but let's do it to show you how it works so so they don't light up. So to use this thing is pretty straightforward. Uh, before you get started, what you need to make sure is that you have um, replacement LED bulbs uh, that you can use. So either use, so for me, I'm just robbing them from another strand of non-working lights, and that works for me because I have extra. Uh, otherwise, you have to get some replacement LEDs, but you really should get them from the manufacturer or from the package, the extra package that usually comes with the LED lights and the few extras that you need because they're not all the same. A lot of these operate on different levels of voltage and it will burn them out. So before you start, make sure you've got some good replacements. So uh, first thing to do with the LED keeper is simply to plug it in like that. And then with the icicles, uh, the key thing to that was hard for me to see and the instructions, which may be a little bit different with icicles, maybe not, maybe I just wasn't reading it correctly, is when you have your drops uh, for your icicles, you're actually gonna be testing, uh, starting testing right here on this wire, okay? And the way the testing works, the LED keeper, is you'll see here, this is actually how you will insert the wire like that. And as you put the wire in, uh, and you pull down on the trigger and a pin comes out and will penetrate the insulation, uh, the plastic, and go into the conductor. And uh, you'll see it light up on the bottom there. And as you do that, you push down, then your string should light up, you know, from there backwards. So I'm gonna, sometimes it takes a couple of times, two or three times to get it, but you see I push down hard enough and it lights up all four of the LEDs on this strand of icicle. So I know this is not the problem, so I keep moving on. And the next one, same thing. And uh, like I said, uh, the guys at LED Keeper recommend holding the tester this way so you can see that you make a good, strong connection, positive connection when you squeeze this down. lit up there. So we just keep working my way through this. And this work. And I can't believe how fast this is. I tried to replace every bulb before. Yeah, I tried to use the old red uh, tester. It doesn't work. I got that lit down. And you can see we got one light here, this blue light that's not working. So I could have multiple problems. It could be just this light causing the problem. So we found the issue. And I'll go ahead and pull this guy out. Maybe one of the issues. All right, and I can 
visually inspecting the light, I can see it has contacts on both sides that they're in place. A lot of the issues I've been having with my lights is these contacts I actually just get corroded and break right off. So that LED, to me, looks like it should work. So put it in the bulb tester here. It only work one way. Put it in there. Oh, and I can see it's kind of lighting up. You probably can't see with my fingers there. It is kind of lighting up, but I can tell it's kind of got a problem too. Yeah, it's, I see it kind of twinkling in there a little bit, so that's got a problem. So from another strand, as I mentioned, I've got another bulb we'll test. I can use a good working bulb, and we'll put that one in in its place. My wife knew I wasn't using the same color bulbs going into the same spot. I'd get in trouble. <laughs> All right, so we'll keep making our way down the line. This is the line I just fixed. That one bulb and test it again. They're all working. So we'll keep making our way down. And they're all working. Probably should have paused and plugged it back in to the power to ensure that wasn't the issue once I replaced that bulb. But I don't think it was. Because all of my other strands have had corroded connectors on them. I'm just going to keep making my way down. Now, keep, bear in mind, there's three wires here running down. One set of wires is going to run the first half of the lights. The other, the other wire is going to run the second half of the light. So as I get down here, I'm going to find that these start getting pretty dim. They start lighting up the other side of the lights here. You can't really see it too well, but the other side. So that means it's a good time for me to, I've made it halfway through the strand to mark with the clips that they put in the box, how far I've made it. I'm going to come down and test start from the female side of the plug and work my way backwards towards the middle. But since I'm halfway through and I did replace one light, I'm gonna just double check. These don't work and they still don't work. So uh, I'm gonna continue with my testing. Plug my LED keeper back in and then work from the female side back down and same principle is true in terms of which wire to select you want to from here you want to select this wire uh, just after the icicle connection and those light up and I'm making it for a long video because issues always somewhere in the middle and those all light up Always the last bulb you test, isn't it? <laughs> we'll check this one. Okay, now these are lighting up, so I know I've got a positive connection, but this, oh, it's because I'm testing before. See what I did? I'm not smart. <laughs> okay, test after. Those will light up. Okay, perfect. Follow the instructions. Do what I'm doing. Okay, now this one. And try a couple times, make sure I got a good connection, but this might be our issue strand here. Got nothing. Okay, so same thing goes here. Start working our way down this line, testing these lights. And pull this guy in, and he lights up. Usually pretty faint when they do light up when you do this. But it 
didn't light up. Okay, well, this isn't working. Okay, so it might be this guy. Maybe not. We will find out. So we use the little remover again. And contacts look good. And it tests out well. Let's see. Yeah, it lights up. That's not the problem. But man, the fact that this isolates it down to a couple options is pretty cool. All right, so given my experience with the other five light strands that I fixed, I'm finding that two out of three times is this last one. And I don't know if it's ice and water that sits down here, so I'm gonna skip from the pink light down to this blue light for the sake of time and experience. Pop that out. And you can tell it's kind of corroded in there a little bit. Uh, oh, there it's this. This is the guy. So you can see this little connector is just loose in here and has broken off. You can't really see, probably with my shaky hands, but that little thing popped off one side. So I'm gonna replace this bulb on the last strand here. And let's just plug them in. I bet that's our problem. Certainly one of our problems. And voila. Found it. Got a whole working light of strand of lights. So, uh, I hope my tips and uh, troubleshooting tips were helpful for you in the process that I showed you how to use this. Like I said, I think this thing is fantastic. I highly recommend these, uh, the red gun isn't gonna do it for these kind of lights. You gotta buy the yellow gun. You gotta buy it online. I think it's 25 bucks. And uh, best thing I purchased all year. So uh, definitely recommended to save a lot of hassle and, and, uh, and frustration with Christmas lights. Good luck to you. Merry Christmas, bye.